So we thought of like how to bring a, a, a model through that, that can, that we can like bring all this thing that is being lacking right. into that and bring in something that is very contemporary. So it's out of like, what if like we cut this hot shape like that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we would make a recess that you can see that like that, and then you can see another one like that, right? Right. Where you can bring air flow and you can bring light also inside mm -hmm. because it's a culture center, right? You need light, you, you need uh, natural light. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the way that we made the natural light w without a very direct light because sun is really strong there and that's how we can ventilate the spaces and we made the complex out of that so if you go to the plan the complex is like those because the circle is the plan of those huts right mm -hmm. so make the complex of like those circles with having these like new like uh, redesigned like top so that was the so, so this is something i was actually curious like it's it almost seems like Okay, so these huts initially existed separately, right? They're all individual huts, like in in the vernacular. Context. In the vernacular yeah. architecture, yes. So, so, so everyone, each one would be a home. Right. Yeah. yeah. So in this case, I'm quite fascinated with the line here, like this straight wall. Yeah. Because if there's actually, it's really hard for you to combine multiple circles into yeah. one, but that line really. Yeah, that really made that, that you know outside space to become connected somehow. That that line we really like because this yeah. is the only street wall in the project, mm -hmm. which is actually the south the south facade. Mm -hmm. So you ha you need more shade in that right, right. Uh, area, and we made like this like perforated this, yeah. walls to bring more ventilation in that space, so you can have uh, more moderated. Mm -hmm. uh, climate and underneath right. this place you know and then also have like kind of security to the building you know right because you can even if you close each unit you can still have the other places always 24 7 working for people to right, like right. go and yeah. hang out at that place because we wanted this place to become a hub mm -hmm. from the beginning of building it by inviting people to build with us and put their own stories in the walls. Mm -hmm. That's why we called it CDU Walls of Tales. Right. Because initially we have an idea of of bringing. So, the main issue of building that uh, culture center was the idea of having a place to preserve uh, uh, this tradition of. They have uh, someone. I forgot the name of it, but it's the person who who passes the uh, the the past of like the. Tr the, all the traditional the mm -hmm. traditions and like the songs and like right, the culture right, right. that the ancestors have they pass it to other generations only by narrating them mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. having like some musical uh, ways of like singing and like telling these those stories mm -hmm. so this is the only way it was never written so they wanted that place to become this hub where those things can be preserved right, right so yeah. we, we initially wanted to bring those people to celebrate in the in the process of building the building right. and while they narrate those, those stories we would like to have those stories like in the walls as if like using like multiple uh, brick colors by like writing mm -hmm. like something that is, is like that a, ancient Egyptian uh, is like, it right here this woman working on the wall yeah Okay. So like this, like the story that it, like, like this wall in the back in the stage. This like, one? Oh, that yeah, one. Okay. This one like should be like the wall where there is narratives and mm. and like stories of of the past, you know. Right. That is gonna be always there. It's something that you can't scrap of the mm -hmm. wall. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's within the wall. It's from the going through the whole section of uh, of the wall. So that's that was the, the very main like uh, yeah uh, idea of like uh, bringing uh, those stories within the walls of of the place to mm -hmm. become like a temple you know you know like i also think that those um like they're they're very contemporary moments but like you said it's like a cross between the contemporary way to design this primitive hut so i i really like I mean, I'm always, you, you know, you know me, I'm always interested in the nesting yeah. condition. Yeah. Like all these like kind of multiple layers, 
like that I find it super super effective because like you, you also like didn't align the like um, the opening directly to outside there's always another layer covering each other yeah I think that's something that it's really really you know innovative in a hot situation yeah even like here the con yeah. the contemporary moment here you never have seen a, 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 a door opening that goes in the dome mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. it's always that like in the flat exactly but it never come that way so now you have like a right, way of right. opening that is arch but it's also like going yeah, with the yeah. curvature of the uh, doom so we were nice. looking in that moments you know yeah. that is easy to achieve by like uh, like labor that you can just like uh, have from mm -hmm. the surrounding but also something that they can carry on and like right. use as elements or whatever ways of like just like motivating them to do more kind of like mm -hmm, contemporary mm -hmm. see that there is a potential of yeah. what they're doing to do yeah. something better in the future initially i mean so you have two types so you have this type which is with, with a slit yeah like right here yeah 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 and then there's the one that you know like it's separated completely yeah. but it does that exactly so like i i also like that you have two different ideas yeah. in that building and this actually like was great because sometimes we would support uh, like if you go to the other like the last one you, you support the uh the uh, the satch on top of it right because they, those like bamboo mm -hmm, mm -hmm. goes on on that part you know right so you can have like stuff like that where your supports come from yeah, yeah. and then have like another layer and then put the satch on top of mm -hmm. it yeah i think i i really like the pro like, like the project because i i think when you showed this during the pro seminar presentation i think i think i remember this project mm -hmm. from somewhere i saw it somewhere this render that's why I was like super curious. Like, what was this about? Like, there's something about it really beautiful in this in this render. Like, it's super. Like, when you see it from far, it has a very, very vernacular feeling to it. But formally manipulated to become a very contemporary building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This so, is great. Thank you. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> it's it's really a, a great effort yeah. of like really different nice. people yeah. and like different like interests. You know. Mm -hmm. And and it, it's actually one of my favorite. Yeah, I, I this is definitely my favorite project yeah, from yeah. you. <laughs>